the most memorable part of each trip, the mentoring! Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It has been about two weeks since I'm back from Maldives and I just want to share with you my whole fishing trip in there. And uh, this trip, I feel that it's more like a training ground course. Firstly, I have never cast nor have I ever popped before and I've never experienced or played fast jigging as well. So it was a total new experience and challenge for me because I have to cast and pop the whole day and it's very taxing physically and mentally also. And we went there to hunt for uh, GTs, that's our target species there. And we spent the first two days casting and popping and uh, it's fun but it's really very tiring. And for popping, it's fun because I feel that when you get to see the action of the popper working on the surface, it's, it's a very uh, thrilling experience when the fish take the popper compared to uh, just playing live bait or jigging where you don't get to see the action. So it's a very, very good experience for me. And, uh, and the weather there was quite, quite erratic. Our boatman actually drove us right into the rain and we were drenched from head to toe and we were mad freezing without any extra shirt. So we still don't understand why he brought us there, but maybe there were, it was a good spot for the GTs, but unfortunately we didn't get any heat at all for a whole day of casting, like maybe for like two hours of raining. I'm going to show you two of my short clips here and showcase the blunders that I've made. As you can see from this video, right now when the fish is on, I didn't even set the fish when the fish took the popper. That was the first noob mistake that I made. And after this whole part, it was a bit uh, chaotic because, you know, first hit for me on the popper. So I was too nervous and too excited. And subsequently after this, I start to tighten my drag, which was another mistake that I made. And this is a mistake that usually I wouldn't uh, commit because you know after you set up your rod, you actually test the, the drag of the reel. So I have no idea why I would do this, but anyway I did it and it caused the whole tension of the rig to be too tight and ultimately my fish was lost. <coughs> oh. This was on the second day of popping and yes, I got myself another jig on the line and same problem, I didn't set again. 
Firefly actually, I shouldn't even be showing all these uh, blunders of the burn pages here. But just in case if there's anyone out there who's a first timer, it might really help a bit when you go copy for the first time. You know when the GT takes the life and you assume that it set itself, it actually didn't at all. So when my rod keep bending like this, I honestly thought that the GT is secured fully, but no. So it was like a complacency or like a stupidness which I don't know lah. So please remember to set like 10 times, 20 times, 30 times over and over again just to be very safe and secure every fish that's on your line. But the only difference is that uh, for this fish, I didn't even get to do anything and it just snapped, the line just snapped like that. So it was quite a sad thing like, for my experience here. I brought only two poppers to Maldives and they were gone by the first two days. I honestly thought that two was good enough for a four day trip but with stupid mistakes made like this, obviously it's not enough for me at all. And I tried shore casting on our island on the last day of the trip and I used a 48 gram stick bait that I bought from Kaiser. And on the second cast, I actually got a fish on the line. And this time around, I actually said, I let the fish run and it just didn't stop like that. Like no more movement. And I start to crank me very slowly and try to ruin back but snap. I really don't know why is it like a snap 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 day for my whole body trip but it was a good experience and I don't have the footage of this shore casting as well. So but it doesn't matter, I lost the fish anyway. And I realized that 60 gram popper was the most effective one in this whole trip. We brought down 60 gram, 100 gram, and 125 gram poppers, but the heat rate of the 60 gram one was the most effective of all three sizes. So be it if it's dark colored or light colored, it actually works equally well, and I'm amazed by these Altoro poppers that we brought from Kaiser. And honestly, I felt a bit uh, disappointed that I wasn't prepared enough for this trip and that I didn't secure any of the GT that I managed to have it on my line that it wasn't the best time to be in Maldives and because of the weather and the choppies and we did manage to land a GT on the second last day at least
<laughs> Still our last breath, huh? Funny to feel there, the funny to move on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Nick, are you okay? Yes. Feeling pumped up already? Okay, funny to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, did leave no use, huh? Yeah, they can spread. They can spread.
Punish the fish, right? But guess what? We were punished. We were punished. Oh man. So this is it for Maldives guys. It wasn't a good trip, but I definitely had some takeaways and lessons that I learned. So it will only make me a better angler after this. And we'll definitely be back to hunt them fishes again when we're all ready and get up for the next fight. So I've come to the end of my video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any comments, do let me know. And never subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe and share my videos too. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.